In this video, we're going to talk about the properties of equality. The, there are many different properties of equality that reflects the symmetric, transitive, addition, and multiplication property. Um, but one thing that's important to start off with going over all these properties is for all real numbers A, B, and C. So again, A, B, and C can be any real number that is out there. One, two, three, four, five, you know, one million. It can be negative one. It can be pi. It can be... Uh, irrational or rational numbers. There's many different numbers that can be it. Um, yeah, so make sure if you don't know what real numbers are, um, go look at that. <laughs> we'll double check what those are first before you start doing these properties with them. Um, well, the first property, the reflexive property, is a simple property and all it states is that A equals A. And it's saying a real number is equal to itself. And at first, at first glance, it kind of looks like, well, what's the point? We know that a number is equal to itself. Yes, but here it just, it's, it's going to uh, come and play later on uh, in mathematics, and it's a good property to know. Now, this could be B or C equals itself, C equals C, B equals B, A equals A. And A, B, and C are just arbitrary letters, but usually when we deal with real numbers, we'll use the first three letters, A, B, and C, with um, explaining these properties. The symmetric property says this. It says, if A equals B, okay, then symmetric, we can flip it, B equals A, okay? So if A equals B, if a real number equals a different real number, then we can flip it and they're equal the same way too, okay? So it doesn't really matter the order. The transitive property is if A equals B and B equals C, then a equals C, okay? And this is like an if-then statement, okay? If, then, if this occurs, if A equals B and B equals C, then we can say that, we can jump that connective B there and say that A equals C, okay? The transitive property. The addition property, if A equals B, then A plus C, equals b plus c and break it down like this and c plus a equals c plus b okay so let's take this for a second if a equals b so if a and b um, are equal to each other then we can add a common c to both sides and still say that they're equal again c being a real number okay oh, and here and C plus A equals C plus B. So we can either add it to the right side of the letter or on the left side. It doesn't matter, it's still adding to both sides of the equation. So we're adding a plus C to both sides of the A equals B um, here, and that's gonna make them equal, and that's the addition property. Basically, we can add the same thing to both sides, okay? Now the multiplication property, I'll write it down here. We can still see that good. If A equals B, then AC equals BC and CA equals CB. Very similar to the addition property, instead of adding a common uh, letter C to both sides, that real number, again, all real numbers, be any real number out there, Similar to the addition property, we're just doing multiplication of both sides. So again, we have the if A equals B, then we can multiply C to both sides of the equation and still keep it equal, keep that property of equality, that equals, yeah, equal sign there. So A, C, A times C equals B times C, and C times A equals C times B. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the properties of equality.